So every computer is really capable of four things. It can handle input, getting data from the user. It can handle processing, calculating and manipulating that data. Storage, it can store the data for later use. And output, it can, re it can produce feedback to the user in various forms. Now output obviously comes in things like text, graphics, audio, all that kind of stuff. Input, it can also come from the user in a variety of ways as well, whether that's a touch screen, a mouse, a keyboard, uh, um, a microphone, all these different things, all these different forms of input um, are handled in different ways depending on the software that that data gets sent to. So for example, if I'm using Microsoft Word or some other text editor and I type that W key, well, what happens? Well, we see a W on the screen. Makes sense. It's a text editor. However, if I'm using a, a program like a first person shooter and I hit that W key, that represents something completely different. In most first person shooter video games, what it is, is W means walk forward. So it, the, the functionality usually for um, these games uses the W A S D structure where W, um, A, S, and D are situated like this, and they simulate the arrow keys on your keyboard. So up, left, down, and right. The thing is, is this is different than the way the text editors do it, and they handle it in a different way. Text editors are going to display the character on the screen. However, programs like video games, they use the character for something completely different. It allows us to be handle our games a little bit more ergonomically than trying to use the arrows which are on the right hand side of our keyboard with our left hand for those of us that are right handed left handed people it's not much of an issue okay so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to look at how um, input is brought into our programs that is the basics and and when we're all done we're going to be able to take this data process it stored and then output the feedback to the user it makes our programs a little bit more interactive so instead of just processing manual data we can actually get data from the user and do things differently every single time. And that's what how that's how input is useful.